Hi, my name is Krishna Stone, and I work in the communications department at Gay Men's Health Crisis, also known as GMHC, the oldest AIDS service organization in the country. I've been an employee here for 19 years, and who would have thought that only a few years ago, I would have to learn all about social media networks. When we discovered that the universe was moving beyond work and websites and emails and on the internet, uh, I became very anxious. I was like, I can't learn about this, I'm too old. But it's like standing in front of a swimming pool with very cold water, you know, I knew I had to jump in and that's exactly what I did. My mentor was uh, half my age, which means he was 10 years old. No, just kidding. But he was responsible for helping to expand my work on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media networks. So we started with Facebook. La -da -dee. Isn't it pretty? And then we moved on to Twitter, which is very challenging because I love to talk and it's kind of neat to have to communicate in only 140 characters and spaces. But as I began to learn more about social media networks, the one thing that all the free workshops and webinars and articles say, which is you can do this. It may take weeks, months, years to find the rhythm, find your own pacing, but they all said that one message, you can do this. So then we moved on to Yfrog and Bitly and Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite's for the really organized social media folks, but I'm getting there. Uh, and I did. I learned how to create my own rhythm. I started with one tweet a day on Twitter and then one posting on Facebook. And now, throughout the years, uh, Twitter and Facebook are up on my computer all day long and sometimes on the weekends. One of the things that I also have to do is monitor our pages because we only, not only do we have the main GMHC Facebook page, but we have other Facebook pages such as the Fashion Forward Facebook page because it's a fundraiser. And as an example of monitoring uh, social media pages, uh, a few months ago, Lisa Lampanelli, a very fabulous comedian, uh, was on Celebrity Apprentice and she raised money uh, for GMHC. Now, I don't know, you know, what Lisa Lampanelli brings out in people, but it's either the best or the worst in their humanity. And unfortunately, people decided that if they hated her, they were going to let us at GMHC know. So people began to post really frighteningly ugly stuff. And I haven't banned users, deleted people, blocked people so much, you know, uh, during the time that she was on. Uh, celebrity Apprentice, but um, it was really quite funky for a little bit there. And the thing that I learned the most about that time frame was to stay up here, take the high ground. And our voice at GMHC through social media is very professional, very supportive, and very loving. So I never got you know, down in there with the funky people who were saying hateful things about her. Uh, I really stayed up here from a place of love and gratitude that Lisa Lapinelli chose us to raise money. And so all through these years, we've learned about, you know, who our audience is for GMHC, what we want to communicate, who we want to support, who we want to give shout outs to, and there really is a nice continuity about our work. It's like a dialogue with people that we know and care about. And the last thing I want to share is that finally, it took a few years, but we actually wrote uh, down what we do on uh, social media networks. So we have a guide now and that's been very, very helpful. So again, I want to just say you can do this. If I can at age 53, you can. And it's been quite a journey. You don't have to do it alone and just hang in there in the land of social media. Yay!